Okay then, let's look at the weather. Strange thing to think about when you're talking about technology in the D-Day landings, but the weather was essential. For D-Day to take place and to move these hundreds and thousands of men and equipment across the channel to France, they needed the conditions to be right. Think about it like this. If you're planning a barbecue, you need it to be sunny, not windy, a nice day. Or just scuppers your full plans, doesn't it? Well, this could be the same for D-Day. And you know what the weather's like in our country. It cannot be really relied upon. So what did they need? They needed clear skies so the planes could fly in. They needed a full moon so the day would be stretched out longer and they had good visibility on an evening with a full moon. They needed a low tide because they needed to be able to land the landing crafts and move up the beach. If the tide was too high up here, then they'd be sitting targets for the Germans and they'd get obliterated up here. They also needed calm seas because how are you going to get men, boats, Mulberry Harbour's built, all these other things built, if the seas are really rough and the waves are up here like this, which is a possibility in the channel. So, what did they do? Well, a genius called Arthur Dudson built this machine, one of the first mega computers. With all these components here, he predicted the weather, the time, the best opportunity to launch D-Day. And the days he came up with is between the 5th and 7th of June 1944. He said that's the best time to launch this operation. And he was spot on. So talk about technological advancement. He's invented a tide prediction machine. Amazing. Okay, a supercomputer. Something that we take for granted now when we check on our phones and we can check the weather and see what it's going to be like in the next few days. This was 70 odd years ago. So this is a true technological advancement. Bravo to Mr. Dudson.